Hi, my name is Rodrigo Cardenas, and today I will be speaking about the animal depiction of throughout history in art. First, I will be talking about my MVP, which is the column capital with bowl of Protomus. This work of art is my favorite because I just love the bowls. They just look very powerful and I, I find them a little bit funny but in this work of art they are there is two main colors which is the white and I was, also there are some hints of blue in this piece of art there are some geometric shapes and some organic shapes the main geometric shapes are its bodies and its arms or its legs and also its head some of the organic shapes are its eyes and nostrils there are also it is also covered in polka dots such as its um, back of its head and also under its ears this column was created in iran around 510 bce it was created out of limestone and was made for the Palace of Darius. It was actually one out of 36 columns in the audience hall in the palace. Uh, all, the, all the other columns had different animals on them too. This one, for example, depicts two bowls locked together and connected to each other, connected to the same body while laying down and holding up a beam on its back. There is a tale according to the, the textbook that the creator may have wanted the visitors to believe that the king captured these animals because they are very fierce and symbolize very a lot of power. And they wanted them to think that he actually got them to to hold the, the castle because of how powerful this king is. Alright, next I will be talking about the East Star Gate. The East Star Gate is created in 575 BCE and it was made in Babylon, which is now Iraq. This beautiful gate was, is covered in a dark blue color. It is made out of enameled bricks. Also covered in very powerful animals some of these animals or the animals consist of young bulls dragons and a lot some lions these animals are seen as to be painted in the color yellow but some of them are also have other colors like white and some hints of green like the dragon around its neck. The wall is create is has three different colors, which is the blue, green, and some hints of gold. All around the wall there are or not around the wall, but at the very top there is some um polka dots that can be seen which is a pattern. It is one of the eight gates that was in Babylon. Definitely, probably one of the prettiest ones they had. And it is also said that these animals symbolize gods from Babylon. Yeah, one of the, one of the most uh, peculiar of the animals is definitely the dragon. Since, as you can see, the dragon right there, it has the back legs of what can be seen as a bird. And its front legs, the legs of a lion. And a very long tail, and at the front of its head, it looks like a snake with horns. The next animal that is right next to it is the bull, the young bull. And it is seen to be colored in white with some very long horns and is seen walking towards 
the game. Just like the dragon. And also there are some lions in there. And it is also colored in white. And is also seen walking towards the game. Okay, next I will be talking about probably the most iconic out of these art pieces. The Great Sphinx from Ancient Egypt. This icon, iconic art, was built in Egypt and created around 2520 to 2494 BC. It is considered to be a spiritual guardian to the ancient Egyptians. The Sphinx depicts the body of a lion connected to a human, which has a pharaoh headpiece. It is mainly made out of limestone and it also represents the Egyptian sun god. A lot of scholars cannot decide who ordered the, the Sphinx to be made. It is up for debate over two different rulers. Next, I'll be talking about the Corinthian black figure and flora with animal friezes. This work of art was created in Greece and made around 625 to 600 BC. This vase shows many different kinds of animals. The animals that are depicted in this vase are leopards, boars, swans, and goats. But it doesn't just show regular animals. There are also some mythical animals that are depicted in this vase, which consist of sirens, harpies, and sphinxes. This vase was made by Corinthians in Greece, and this is very important because this vase is an example of innovation because they invented the black figure technique, which was very popular in Greece in its time because of how beautifully it depicts its figures. Next, I will be talking about how the animals were perceived throughout history in its art. First, they are seen as gods or representatives of them in the art. A lot of the civilizations viewed the, or depicted the gods out of animals. For example, the Great Sphinx. The Great Sphinx is a great example of this because it might have the head of a human, but, it's also, but it also has the body of a lion, which would give off its very powerful and intimidating feeling. Also, throughout time, these animals are also seen as symbols of power in these works of art. A great example of this is the bull of Protomus, and it is a great example because of the tale that they said that they wanted visitors to believe, because this king was seen as so great because... Um, he supposedly captured these very fierce and uh, very fierce and powerful animals, which w is an example of how they are huge symbols of power. Because because of this, people thought the king was very powerful. Uh, also, um, they are viewed as guardians. And one main one main example of this is well, obviously the Great Sphinx, because the Egyptian people viewed it as a guardian, and also the Ishtar Gate because of its fierce animals that are depicted on around the walls. Also, throughout the history of art, mythical creatures were made up from the from animal body parts, and I think that is a very interesting thing because um, it's just very uh, creative for them, that they made up animals from different kinds of animals throughout history, or with the art. But yeah. Thank you, and I really appreciate your time for watching this video. This is some of the works cited that, this is my work cited, and these are the articles that I went through to do some research. This work cited is what I got from the library, which is some books and a journal. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you.